What can go wrong will go wrong, especially in space. <laughs> and the film Stowaway is no exception to it. So let's get into the review of this new film that's coming to Netflix uh, right now. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel today for another movie review. As I said, today we're going to be reviewing the film Stowaway, which is dropping on Netflix April 22nd. Um, it'll be in it'll be on Amazon Prime in uh, Canada and or Prime Video on Canada, and, and um, I, I forgot there's like a German release date as well too. But nonetheless, yeah, Netflix uh, got the distribution rights in December, and now it's being released. And like, yeah, this is a space movie. I love a space movie. I have to premise this by saying the bar for a really good space movie is Gravity. Gravity is my favorite, and it's for a lot of reasons: acting, uh, the cinematography, which I could just talk about for another ten minutes alone. Um, so I'm always intrigued. What's going to be the next great space movie? And Stowaway, um, looking at the casting and whatnot, you're like, yeah, there's potential. Anna Kendrick, uh, Daniel Kim, and Shamir Anderson, who I got to start off by saying that he killed it. <laughs> he, this, this man killed it. Like, his performance alone, considering all the drama that's already happening in space, you know, even when nothing is going wrong in space, it's still drama in space because it's still... The idea that we all know that something is going to go wrong. But, like, his character, just how he wears his, his emotions on his sleeve and the things he go through and, and whatnot, uh, he just does a fantastic job keeping you eyed and glued on him. Plus, it's the whole mystery of, like, who is he? He's a stowaway on this mission as this crew of astronauts are headed to Mars. And, like, he is just... <laughs> He's just within there hitting, and they're just like, oh, another person. And obviously, um, there's a there's a huge issue with him being on there because they did not plan for a fourth body to be on this vessel, which throws off everything. I don't want to give you any of the spoilers. I really don't know what's in the synopsis, but I, you know, they did not plan for a fourth fourth person to be on this journey. So they have to make some difficult decisions. Um, nonetheless, uh, when you're talking about the structure of this film. I was not wild by the cinematography. I did love the visuals towards the end of the film, but I felt like maybe, maybe it's just me, but like it looked like it was very transparent. They were they were sitting on the green screen, especially on some of the scenes uh, when they were, you know, outside of the the the, the vessel in space. It looked very green screenish, and I understand that space is kind of flat, black, but like. Again, gravity, the cinematography that's done there, how it's done, like it looks like you're in space with them. This one definitely looked like you was looking at somebody sitting on a green screen in space. So I just wasn't wild about it. Uh, but that, but oh, but I'll, I'll say this: up and down the board, the performances was good. And again, with this casting, Daniel Kim um, and Anna Kendrick, along with uh, Shamir Anderson, like it just it just was a fantastic casting that uh, without you really knowing what what the drama is going to be. They wore enough drama on themselves uh, to complete this mission um, to Mars alone. And then, like, I, think, I thought they had good moments together. And I, I thought that, you know, understanding the characters, um, how they matched the psychology with them, a little bit of backstory with them, um, it, it really, truly got you invested into them quickly, which creates the drama because you want to see this, the mission go safely. Um, so, but... I, you know, the other big thing with this film, too, as well, is that um, the score really, really does add an extra layer of the drama and the suspense going on with this. And um, it, it, it's a crazy ride because there's a lot of things that you don't know. I, I, I can't premise enough, but like Shamir Anderson's character is the stowaway on this ship. And you're like, well, where the hell did he come from? <laughs> Along with like them truly, you know, the other issues of trying to make this mission as successful as they can. Again, they didn't plan for a fourth body to be here. So resources has to account for an extra person. 
And obviously, uh, Mission Control is like, uh, we don't know what to do type of thing. So they're, they're essentially they're on Gilligan's Island by themselves and they got to figure it out. And like, yeah, they're smart and whatnot. But again, they have ran, you know, a bunch of simulations, but not with a full person at it. So, uh, but I will say that ultimately I did enjoy this film. Um, there was questions left unanswered. We also don't truly see the mission get for fully uh, satisfied. So we just truly see them in the midst of this journey and the drama with the journey. And that's it. <laughs> so I'm a little underwhelmed by that. I, I enjoyed this film. I don't think it was like absolutely great, but the performances was, was definitely good. Uh, but maybe I just wanted just a little bit more. And it was a close to two hours. So like I definitely didn't need any more because it would have just been way, way, way too long. But for this worth, I thought it was entertaining. And I think it's a definitely worth uh, a watch. Uh, it's going to be on Netflix. Everyone has Netflix. So definitely check it out. But still away again, uh, April 22nd on Netflix. Uh, check it out. Uh, it has good suspense. Uh, it's, a, it's a thriller. Um, a lot of drama. And then if you love space, then you, that's, that was just enough for you at the door. And again, I thought the visuals was... But like, I, I you know, I, I again, gravity's the bar. Gravity is the bar with effects, cinematography, and all of that. And so, like, this did not, it did not dethrone gravity. So, uh, my search to find a movie that will continues. <laughs> and I know Interstellar's good, but it's not better than gravity, folks. Just let's not, let's not go there. But yeah, folks, that'll do it for this. Um, definitely jump in the comments. Let me know what you thought about this film when you check it out. And stay tuned because we got more reviews coming very soon.